Hey guys, I'm back again to share the other uh, baby girl journal I made for um, Big Sister. And uh, I didn't I didn't give y'all measurements yesterday. These are both about the same size. So they were, um, they're about seven, a little over seven, maybe seven and a quarter by nine. And, you know, the other journals is roughly the same size and the um, same thickness and everything. This one's just set up a little bit different. Um, I did this keeping in mind that this is a young girl who's a big sister. And I thought it would be super fun for her to have a fabric, you know, a fabric journal. Um, and I stuffed some extra things in here. She can take those out. Um, she can move things around, you know, however she wants to. And she can remove the charm if she wants to use it somewhere else or while she's working in it. But I did the same sort of tassel charm. I put her some little um, lace around the top. And she loves purple. So I put her some purple buttons. And then I put the same uh, similar little beads um, on here. Just a little more um, geared towards what I thought she might like. But I put... Um, you know, the little uh, ladybug. I hope y'all can see all this. They're, they're all kind of hidden in there. Um, and then the, the vintage um, purple button, pink button, another purple and pink. The little heart charm. So, all that good stuff. And then it wraps. And the, the tie is really long. I'll show you. The tie wraps around several times. But, I, you know, I made the tie really before I made the book when I was going through all my all my stuff. But she can, you know, she can she can use it um, to wrap. She could cut some of this off and use it if she wants to. Or she can just use it as a big wrap. And as it grows, she's got definitely got enough um, of this tie to wrap around. But it's just a random, there's some baby um, fabrics on here. The pink gingham, the florals. Um... And then there were some little scraps that uh, Jessica had actually sent me a while back. So there's this little monkey. Uh, there's a little fairy. There's a little um, rabbit. This came in some happy mail from Jennifer. And then this was some, this is the uh, Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the dish ran away with the spoon. This is a fabric that um, Renee sent me. And um, just, you know, random pieces. I love this little heart. These little hearts right here. That came from Jennifer. And then just other, you know, just it's totally, totally random and, and pretty. And then I put her um, a couple of little flowers here. This was a little um, a crocheted flower, I think. I think that might have been Phaedra. Or that could have come from somebody else. Um, anyway, so this opens up. It's my... It's the um, file folder covered journal, like I just, um, the video I just loaded yesterday. And then in here I put her some extra goodies. Um, I just did a bunch of little hearts and flowers and butterfly punches that I thought she might like. And then I put some extra little things in here for her to play with. Um, some washi. I made some little, um, fabric scrap washi, you know, some of the little pieces I had out that I thought she might like to use. And then I did two different layers of fabric in here. I did, I actually did two layers on the outside. This is a, um, it was a white sort of, kind of like a um, cheesecloth, a thicker cheesecloth, and then this over the top. And then on the inside, I did the Hey Diddle Diddle fabric. And then I made pockets out of some other really pretty fabric that Renee sent me that has the little embroidered ducks on it. So, I don't know if you can see. You can really see the... I've got shadows again today. I'm trying to get my light right, but, you know, I have to sort of use my... My lighting in here is just not great, but I have to sort of use my lights and then my... Um, natural light. So in the back here, I just clipped on, I made her a, um, a, a big like writing tag as well, um, out of a book page from a bunny book. Um, and it's the bunny hugging the little duck. So I thought that would be cute. It almost looked like, you know, little siblings or whatever. 
And then I signed it here. I signed the back of this here because I didn't have anywhere to sign the fabric. But, um, and then I found out from Jessica, they actually have a pet bunny. So I thought it was cute that I'm, I'm glad I did that with the bunny. And then there's just scraps of paper left over back here. And I just clipped this on to the back of the page for her. Um, it doesn't fit, it's a little bit large to fit in the pocket. And then there's some more little pieces back here she can use, some more uh, fabric washi. But anyway, so it's four signatures. Okay, fun, fun stuff. Um, I put her some more little, I put her some of this little trim in here. I thought she might like that. And the papers I sort of picked more um, for her as well, but I used some of the same stuff because I didn't want, you know, I, I wanted them to sort of have similar, similar books. I didn't want them to be so different that, you know, you never know kids are like, well, I want that in my book or I wish I had that. <laughs> so, you know, I, I was kind of thinking about that. So, um, and trying to think what a little, what a younger girl would like, what I thought my granddaughter might like. So, um, this is an Eloise Wilkins page. Um, so I thought it was cute because it's like big sister, little sister. And then the same sort of stuff, scrapbook paper. I'll try not to talk about every little thing. You know, I did um, pockets for her and then these are all, this all came from one paper line. I think I picked it up at Tuesday morning or Michael's a while back, but it has the one month, two months, three months, four months, all the way to a year. So I put those in there for her and then I just put some of my buttons in this signature. Okay. And then I added one of my little, this is just a little um, tag that I just clipped in. Music paper. I did the um, fabric tabs in here for um, the Richard Scarry at the playground. Then the other side is the house. Another, this is another page from the Treasury, Children's Treasury. And then I have these, um, I got these in a little Maggie Holmes set that I got from peachycheap.com. And I don't really use bows a whole lot. I thought they were. That this would be cute she might like that so I'll put a little bow on that on the little um sleeve and then I added this um, this is kind of it'll kind of catch on this page a little bit here and there um, I didn't I should have brought it either brought it closer in or a little bit further out but you know that happens so, um, I just, I love the little fringe, little pom-pom fringe. And then this is from another, um, Eloise Wilkin, Baby Deer. That was a, a big book that I think Phaedra sent me that had several stories in it. And this is actually the cover of one of her books, but, um, I thought that was cute, the little girls. I made, um... I added some of my little handmade tags in here and some journaling cards. And she really likes unicorns, so I had this uh, Maggie Holmes wrapping. This is actually a wrapping paper, but it's a nice, it's a nice thickness. It's not, um, it's not super thin and it's not super thick. It's it's sort of like writing paper thickness. And then I put her one of my little bunny envelopes in here. It's just clipped in. Some Bambi ledger and then I added her a little fabric page from a piece of that fabric you know they used I made the pockets on the other journal so I added just a little fabric um, you know page in here for her she dyed paper it's a pocket craft paper scrapbook paper some of my handmade buttons I left this plain I want her to be able to, you know, play in and add pictures, do what she wants to do. Same sort of concept. That's the other side of that fabric. Isn't that blue buddy so cute? So just the same, you know, the same sort of elements. I think this is the end of the second signature. So in this, I did the same thing in this one. Um, I made one of those little flip, you know, little pull out flip pockets. And I just decorated the outside edge. So this is great. She can write a lot of things in there. 
um, or she can add pictures and stuff like that. And then just some other little pieces for her to use. And this is some of the, um, the fabric scrap washi that I made with all the little pieces I had. And I added a little felt flower there. Uh, one of Jennifer's little felt flowers. So that's the end of the second signature. And this book, while there's a lot in it, is still very flat. Um, and there are, you know, there's some things that, um, I think you just got a lot of space to grow. You got a lot of space to grow in here. So, this is really cute. I love polka dots. Um, I like this safety pen paper. I thought she would like that. It's got a little bit of a, um, like a full on some of the little safety pins. And then I love this polka dot paper. I wish I had more of that. I need to get some more of that polka dot paper. So this is a, uh, I tried to pick pages that I thought they would really like from the Richard Starry books. And then here is another thing you can do with these little, um, these little plastic sleeves. I've just never done it. And I just simply, you could, you could cover it with fabric first. Um, it might look a little bit, um, a little bit cleaner, a little bit neater maybe, but this is for kids. So I wasn't real concerned about, you know, it being all that, so to speak. So I just, um, I just punched some holes in, in these and added some little, um, you know, ribbon and fiber and yarn pieces. And I thought it turned out cute. I thought it would be fun, something that she would like. And then just some little basic cards in the pockets and she can add whatever she wants to. And she can actually take these out. They're not tied in so tight that she can't change these around or add something else that she might like better. And then here's some more of that uh, wrapping paper. That's Maggie Holmes. I love I love her papers. So she's one of my favorite um, paper designers, so to speak. I put some little lace here on the edge of this. Well, no, it's um, yeah, kind of a cotton. This is a newer. This is not vintage. This is something I picked up at Michaels. It had several different ribbons and stuff on it. And I put some little wrapping paper. This is some newer wrapping paper. This is actually some that I purchased when I bought a baby shower gift um, for a friend of mine who was having a grandbaby. I thought she might like that. And then um, one of my little pockets and it has the three little kittens, the collage on it with the buttons and fabric. Um, you know, little girls usually love kittens. And then this is a page from another book um, that I have that's at their thicker pages. I just thought this was really cute um, and colorful. I love all the images, you know. It's a, um, it's actually a sort of a mission book. So th there's a kind of an intro to that book on this side, but she can just put a picture over that, you know, or whatever. And this was just a little scrap of washi tape that um, I had to cut a piece. So I just stuck it on the end of the page. Lots of space for her to write things in, tuck pictures in. I said that 500 times, right? Another little um, plastic sleeve and I just stuck one of my little paper clips on here. This is a little stamp. That's his little sweetheart. Another pocket. Um, I have this big envelope and I just I just stuck it in here and put one of those little paper clips that Jennifer made um, in the middle so she could totally use that somewhere else um, to hold things. Another another one of the sleeves where I did some of the um, fabric scrap washi pieces and the little heart, little felt heart and little journaling cards. This is just a little uh, scrap of paper from a Prima collection. Um, I just stapled that as a little tab. I need the poo. The straw paper. Um, another little pocket page with some of my buttons. And then I have these little puffy stickers that I thought she might have fun with. Um, I had like a whole, it was a whole thing of them and I had cut them in half. I just. Gave her half of them. Um, I've used a couple, but there's little things there. Kids love these little, I love the little puffy stickers and most kids like them. And this is a little uh, tag uh, piece that 
Renee sent me a bunch of these. They were really cute. They were like folded up. So it's almost like a, you could use them as an invitation or something, but then they punched out the little tag and this part punched out. Um, it says peas in a pod. Um, anyway, they were really cute. So I punched that out and, and made the little tag for her there. And that's the other side of Pooh, Ledger. This was, uh, this music was Cradle Song, the little tab, uh, put the little S's for sister. This came, I had this in my stash. I don't remember where it came from. Um, the little Fox journaling card, I just added two little hearts to that. And then I just stuck her some little, um, like a little die cut kitty cat there and a vintage playing card. And then the um, writing board on the back of here with this big paper clip. And this big paper clip, I don't share these very often. I only have a few of them, but I thought I'd share a big paper clip with her. Um, they're hard. They're really hard to find. Um, unless you want to order a bunch of them on Amazon. I know I can get them on Amazon, but um, I don't need that many. So I think I picked these up at Target a couple of years ago. But I put her that in there. I thought she could clip things in if she wanted to. So, and it just tucks in here and this goes over like this and then it wraps several times. And like I said, she can, um, she can cut this down if she wants to because it's really, it's really way longer than it needs to be. But I just tuck, I just wrap it around and tuck it in back. So, and then she can pin things on here. She can add stuff to it. Um, if she pulls out the extra stuff while she's working in it, it it's got even more room. You know, it's just kind of stuffed right now. But anyway, I hope she likes it. I had a fun time making it. Um, it's just, I love making these journals. I love making all of them. So it's just, just brings joy to my heart. So I hope they like them. And I hope you like this video. And I hope I didn't ramble and babble too much because I do that. I'm such a spaz. I say stuff wrong all the time. I hope y'all overlook that. Um, I guess most of you do because there's a lot of you that continue to come back and watch. So thank you for dealing with my, you know, me and my quirkiness. But I hope everybody's well. I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye.